Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to QCR. Today, in this video, we're going to talk about some things for the pool. So today, we got a new ring here for the pushback valve or backup valve, whatever you want to call it. My ring is uh, kind of deteriorating, it's coming apart, so we're going to put this on. But first, we're going to take a look at why it's not working properly. Let me show you all what's going on. As you can see here, it's not pushing any water out of it. So I think there's like some debris inside there or something. So we're gonna pull that up, take it apart, spin it, see what's going on, see if it'll uh, fix. Don't worry about that mess in the background. I gotta fix that, those flowers. So all right, let me get it over here and I'm gonna shut the pool pump off and we'll see what's going on with it. But I'm not really getting any flow out of there. There's a little bit of flow. Not enough flow to make it push back and do what it's supposed to do. We're gonna take it apart and see why it's not working right. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is take this off like such. See it's really bad shape right here. Really bad shape. Part. This kind of just slides right out. So when you put it back together, there's a little notch right there. Actually, the notch is right here. So I'm gonna pull this piece out, spin it. Make sure nothing's in there. It's a flow of water goes through here spins that little wheel in there through here that spin right spins that spins that little wheel has all these gear reductions comes out this side you can't really see it but there's a hole over here see the hole when that hole lines up all the way to where it's supposed to come here water will come through there's a little thing that spins around forces water through that hole comes out this side and pushes the uh, the little vacuum cleaner backwards a little bit so what I want to do is spin it a few times just like this spin it all the way around make sure there's no debris in there debris so it's spinning pretty good I see it's a little bit of a little bit of junk in there Heat it up a little bit. Takes about a minute. Spin it. I just want to see it go all the way around. So if you're having problems with your with your backup valve on your vacuum, just take it apart, spin it, watch it do a full rotation. Doing pretty good. All right, we're gonna put it back together. So, you put it back together. Make sure this little guy is on this side. It, there's only pretty much only one way it can go. Make sure it spins. Okay, it's spinning. Good. So. Get my ring. Gotta take this guy off. Now, if you bought a pool, if you bought a house, that's a pool in it. And let me fix this. So, if you bought a house, has a pool in it, make sure you talk to that guy. Have him answer. Oh, this is reverse threads. I didn't know that. He didn't give me this information. So, the very first time over here trying to fix these hoses. Take all the stuff off. I'm over here fighting with it. The reverse threads. I didn't know that. Now I know that. So when you get a pool, got this style hose, these are reverse threads. Got it off. It's all jacked up. So we got a new one. 
It's our new one. It says G57 on there. It's Polaris. Like 12 or 14 dollars. Call it or back up. 380, 280, 180. I don't know. I don't know what all those numbers mean. We're gonna put it on. I should have cut it first. Package is strong. Alright, I'm just gonna put it on this side. Put this guy back on here. Back touch. Slide that. Push that on. Like that. Get those little floats down a little bit. Check this out. And then this guy should just go right on. They don't ever just go right on. They're always a pain in the butt. Okay. It worked that time. So, it goes here. This piece, you're gonna line up your, your notches. Your notch piece. So, tight fit. Looks like we did good. Slide this over here, like such. And then, hopefully, hopefully it works out correctly. Let's go turn the pull pump on, see if it works. Get some, some flow on it. Is it working? We don't know yet. We gotta get pressured up. Oh, oh, look at it. Look at it go. It's working. It's getting some flow out of there. Let's get a little bit more. Let's pull that, pull that vacuum right over there. Hope we get that nest. Look at that dirt down there. That's what it's supposed to do, guys. Just like that. Look at all that. Good quality flow. Go in the water. Perfect. Doing a perfect job. Now what we need to do, get the vacuum to sit down. It takes a few minutes, it'll sit down. No vacuum across over there, get that dirt up. That's what we need it to do. Now another little thing we're gonna do today. See the scale on the, see how dirty it is? Side of my pool. I, I'm having problems getting that up. So. Talk to the lady at Leslie's. This is what she gave me. She gave me some stain and scale remover. 32 ounces for the spring and fall. 64 ounces for the summer. For 10,000 gallons, 15,000 is 48 ounces. Uh, I think you just pour it right into a skimmer. Let's find out. Alright, so with this, we're just going to pour it straight into the pool. So, this is 64 ounces, and I'm going to use the whole thing. So, let's say it takes about a week, two weeks. I don't know, we're going to find out. Another little thing we're going to do today is... Place this guy. Let's go over there and see if we can't figure it out. Put that in there. Pull it up. Don't get your fingers caught. This one's all broken. That is the universal one. Perfect. Put the lid back on. Pick that up. So, one more thing we're gonna do while I'm cleaning my pool, getting ready for summer. Take this guy off, it's kind of soft. I'm gonna use this metal one. It's metal. So while I have that scale and stain remover, try this guy out, just bought it today. Like 12 or 15 bucks at Lowe's. We're gonna see how well it works. We're not gonna see how well it works today, we're gonna see how well it works in a couple days. I'm actually gonna pause the video, bring y'all back out here in a couple days. 
so you just take it, push it on there. You're gonna want to give it a day or two for all that chemical to get all the way through here and do what it's supposed to do. Maybe a week, maybe two weeks. My first time ever trying it, so I don't know for sure. But we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out, see how it goes. My belly. And I got my little duck right there, my chlorinator. So I'm glad my pool is finally coming around. It was very green and brown and nasty, and now it's doing a lot better. All right, I'm gonna pause it, and then we're gonna come back out here in a couple more days and see what happens. All right, so we're back. It's been about eight or nine days since I put the uh, stain remover in, and it looks a lot better. I've been coming out here every day brushing the sides down pool's looking really good I got most of all the stuff out vacuum is working pretty good pushback valve is working good there's some stuff down here can't seem to get out there's some sand sand down here I don't know if you can see it yeah you can see it it's just not picking up inside that net it's just going right through the net so it's not picking up Talk to a pool guy so the best way to do it get the sand out when people are actually swimming in it it agitates it i'm gonna go over there to skimmer and then it'll get caught in the filter but if people aren't in the pool agitating the pool then it's kind of hard to get the sand out so that's that everything I, it looks like the product is working really good i can't put any chlorine in there while i have the product in so I'll give it a few more days before I add some shock and it will start looking really, really good. It looks pretty decent right now though, but we'll see what happens in a couple more days. Put some more shock in and scrape the bottom some more and where everything pans out. So that's how you change the, the ring on there. And uh, you want to keep it, keep it going a lot. So it's a Polaris, they're about $700. That's the cheap one. Um, just want to run it like eight hours a day. I've been running mine a lot more. Over this weekend, it was actually off when it had a storm come through here. Dropped a bunch of stuff in the pool. It was pretty nasty, so I'm trying to get the rest of that out. As you can see, sticks all over the ground everywhere. All right, well, uh, I'm just trying to figure out this pool situation. All right, uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, just put the questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching.